Hey guys, in this video, we have a bunch of work from home job companies that are urgently hiring right now, which basically means they have a ton of openings available. So instead of you going after a particular job listing and you know competing with a bunch of other people for that job listing, I have a bunch of companies that just have a very long list of remote jobs available right now. So the first one is at a company called PathRise. PathRise has a ton of work from home jobs available right now and they are a company that invests in university students or young professionals. They provide personalized advice and training on how to get the best possible internship or job. And what, if you check their jobs page, you can see they have a very long list of different things they have available right now. So they have lots of jobs, especially in like just the general interest section here. You also have a lot of part-time mentors and specialists. So again, they mentor students and have all sorts of jobs related to those like profile specialist, sales mentors, and software engineer mentor. And then you also have like career mentors and admissions manager and things like that. Many of these are also contract to hire or they start you as a contractor. And this is a company that is looking for people in North America for this one. And this is just an example of what one of these jobs will obviously look like. And it's up to you which ones you want to look more into. I'm not going to go specific into each individual job in this video. But this is another company that does tell you their compensation range. This one they tell you is 50 to 70,000 a year. They have kind of a breakdown here of um, if you're in a certain area, it could be a little bit higher. For most people, it's going to be 50 to 65,000 a year uh, plus commission. So the base pay is what this part is right here. So 50 to possibly 70,000 a year, depending on the city you live in, base pay, and then up to 25,000 a year on top of that. And this only requires like a couple years of experience. So that's a pretty good paying job right there. They don't mention a lot of specifics about their benefits on here, but they do mention that a three month contract with opportunity for conversion to permanent employment, plus benefits, medical, dental, vision, 401k, stipends, and more. So they just kind of give you a, a brief sentence that describes some of the benefits you might could get here. Everything else just has to do with the application process. So as far as what's like to work at PathRise, they have a 4.3 out of five star rating. 85% of people recommend working here to a friend. As far as benefits go, they have a 3.7 out of five star rating out of 14 ratings, which is very good and they have flexible hours casual dress healthcare options paid time off and things like that they also have a little bit of feedback for their interviews 2.8 out of 5 difficulty is not bad and then 40 percent positive compared to 36 percent negative i say these numbers on this page are fairly standard next we have a company called percona and this is at percona.com. Percona is known as a world-class open source database software support and services company. As far as the jobs they have available here, they have, you know, if you go to remote specifically, they may have some hybrid ones as well. They have these all over the world. As you can see, they have, you know, the US, they have APAC, the Americas, Canada, you know, wherever you can think. Some of these may even be worldwide or global. So if you look at what they have, they have a few HR and people and culture jobs like knowledge managers, IT and business services jobs. They have quite a bit of those. You have a lot of engineering jobs as well. If you're a software developer, you have some global services, admin type jobs like product managers and observability, technical leads, managed services. They have DBA team managers. They have four of those professional services, quite a few of those support services and you have you know a few other just here and there and then they have three sales jobs as well so if you were to click on one of these just as an example a lot of these job listings obviously are formatted very similar to each other this one they don't mention a lot in terms of benefits they don't seem to mention the uh, specific pay either but as far as what it's like to work at percona they have a 4.4 4 out of 5 star rating they have 87% of people recommending working here to a friend, 93% approve of the CEO, so that's very good. 3.9 out of five stars for their benefits. Now you can look and see what some people have said because they didn't really list a lot here. You have great coverage for health insurance, very expensive for a family plan though. Um, work from home, love the flexibility of remote work and the company does a great job of building a supportive, connected culture. And you have things like employee health insurance paid, generous paid time off, 401k match, HSA, life insurance, and 
a few other things like that. So as far as the interview process here, you have a 2.9 out of 5 difficulty rating. So you're looking at a pretty good, pretty standard rating there. Experience wise, you have 63% positive comp compared to 21% negative. So you're looking at a very good rating there because most companies are pretty split between positive and negative. Next, we have a company called Support Ninja, which is at supportninja.com. This is a company that does hire remotely all over the world. As you see, um, they've been remote for a very long time, especially they have a lot of jobs in the US and the Philippines for whatever reason. So as far as Support Ninja's jobs, they're gonna have a lot of you know customer support type jobs here usually because that's kind of what they do. If you look at administrative, they also have an executive assistant as well if you're located remotely in the Philippines. And just make sure you look at the location before applying. If you're really looking in the Philippines or the US, those are two of the most commonly hired areas. But customer support, lots of jobs here if you're interested in that. Uh, data entry and data processing analysts as well if you are interested in those, although those are only in the Philippines right now. You have some finance jobs. They also have one in Ireland and Colombia. So you do have a few other um, options as far as locations. Information technology, they have a few here. Leadership, operations, sales, quite a few sales jobs. Technical support as well. And tons of technical support jobs if you're interested in that. You get to also have a typical customer service rep position uh, workforce real-time analyst and those types of jobs. So if you go to one of these jobs, you'll notice that they actually list their perks and benefits in the job listing. So you have competitive compensation, medical, dental, and vision insurance, paid time off, birthday leave, bonus and incentive plans, opportunities for skills, training, and personal and professional development, as well as employee referral program. They don't say specifically what your pay would be though. As far as what's like to work at Support Ninja, they have a 3.7 out of five star rating. 62% of people recommend working here to a friend. As far as benefits go, they have a four out of five star rating, which is pretty solid. Unlimited paid time off and the benefits okay. Uh, best insurance I've ever had. Insurance is 100% paid. Free health insurance and many benefits like fitness stipend, parking stipend, vacation, sick days, lots of paid holidays. Those are some of the things people have said about them. Obviously not the biggest sample size, but it's still a good rating so far. 2.5 out of 5 difficulty is actually pretty easy. Um, and the experience applying here is very good. 6% negative is one of the lowest I've probably ever seen. And then 88% positive, obviously one of the highest I've ever seen. So very good experiences interviewing here, although the sample size is only 16. Next, we have a company called Included Health, which is at includedhealth.com. They are a company that is, they're, well, they're a healthcare company. So obviously that's pretty straightforward and you probably could guess that from the name of the company. They have a lot of different jobs available right here as well. If you look at location type, you can go to remote specifically, or you can just look at all of them, of course. You have some hybrid jobs that you could possibly get as well. They are hiring especially in, you know, the US, Mexico, and Canada, so mostly in North America. And you have some psychiatrist jobs, you have a bunch of therapist jobs as well. So if you are a master level therapist, they have a bunch of these remotely, but they do have these for individual states other than the psychologist here. You have a few different client success jobs, some client strategy and services jobs. Software engineering, of course, many different companies are hiring a lot of software engineers these days, and they have a very long list of software engineering jobs here. Uh, finance, you'll have a couple there, another information security job, you know, just a few here and there in all the other areas. So when you click on one of these as an example, you'll see the qualifications, what you're gonna do, desired qualifications. Now you also see that they do list pay here. So for instance, this engineering job actually pays up to 232,400 a year plus equity and benefits. So you do have the option of getting equity on top of benefits and on top of good pay here. And they also do mention your benefits in the application page. So you have remote first culture, 401k savings plan through Fidelity, comprehensive medical vision and dental coverage. You have full suite of included health telemedicine and healthcare navigation products and services, generous paid time off and discretionary time off, 12 weeks of 100% paid parental leave, up to $25,000 fertility and family building benefit, compassion leave. So this could be for like people who have a failed pregnancy, surrogacy, adoption, or fertility treatment. Uh, just 
general challenges of life, basically. 11 holidays paid with one floating paid holiday, work from home reimbursement to support team collaboration, effective home office work, and 24 hours of paid volunteer time per year. As far as what it's like to work here, they have a 3.6 out of five star rating and 54% recommend working here to a friend. They have a 4.7 out of five star rating for benefits, which I don't think is very surprising considering all the things that they list and what you actually get here. Interview wise, you have a 2.9 out of five star rating, which is standard 52% positive compared to 34% negative for the interview process, which I would say is above average in terms of how positive it is. Next, you have a company called Hymns and Hers, or you know, it's actually just at hymns.com. I believe they just started as hymns.com, then they kind of expanded to offering um, different products for females as well. As you can see, they have all sorts of different types of um, basically pharmaceuticals that help with anxiety, with hair regrowth, lose weight, skin, better sex, all of that stuff. So if you look at the, if you look at the jobs they have available here, they are actually a publicly traded company as well. So ho hopefully you could get maybe a stock discount as well. And they have benefits culture and talent first, flexible and remote work approach. You can go here for career professionals to see more information about things like their benefits and all of that. So they do have full health care, medical, dental, and vision, generous paid time off, retirement planning, take advantage of the 401k plan included with contribution matching, which they don't tell you exactly what the contribution match is. You get to work from anywhere you like in the US. So make sure you are in the US and don't try to apply worldwide here. They have robust compensation. Again, they do have stock options as a publicly traded company. That's a big deal. Employee discount and you have a utility stipend for cell phone, internet, and data usage and spending accounts as well, like HSA and FSA plans. They also have a lot of things like for basically connectivity with the team. For the jobs they have available here, you can see they have a bunch of different departments, of course. Office wise, you know, you could just narrow it down to remote only. They do have 23 different remote jobs available. If you go to all offices, they have a lot more but you can scroll down to remote only and they have some analytics, creative, engineering jobs, finance, security, legal, marketing. You have operations, product management, et cetera. So if you were to just go and look at one of these random jobs, like let's say you looked at a email designer, you would, you would be able to be a contractor. This one's about tw up to $2,900 a week. So they do mention your pay here as well, which is nice. Uh, obviously, as a contractor, you probably don't get a lot in terms of benefits here. So if you were to be more like a like a regular worker and you look and see for benefits here, they do list their benefits on the actual full-time jobs pages. And we've already been over most of this stuff already, so I'm not going to just you know keep going over that. But they also do mention your current salary for whatever job you're applying for as well. Like for contractors, they might tell you how much you make in a week. For full time, they'll tell you what you make in a year. As far as what's like to work at Hims and Hers, they have a 3.4 out of 5 star rating, 57% recommend working here to a friend. Uh, benefit wise, they have a good rating, 44.6 out of 5 stars out of 38 ratings. Interview wise, they have a 2.7 out of 5 difficulty rating, which is pretty good. I'd say that's easier than the average company I usually cover. And then they have a pretty even split between positive and negative for the experience applying here, which is very standard. Next, we have a company called Angie. Angie is known for basically being a company where you can find contractors. It used to be called Angie's List, and then they basically rebranded to Angie. They are now a publicly traded company and do over, you know, a billion dollars a year in revenue with over, you know, a thousand employees in the company now. So they've really expanded a lot. And as far as what types of jobs they have available, you can look at all departments, you have offices here, and they don't really just tell you like a remote only section, the way their job page works, but uh, they do have a lot of hybrid positions where you work remotely part of the time. As you can see, they have a lot of uh, finance and accounting jobs like that. You have data and machine learning. Many of these are remote the whole time, but you still have to live near a, a particular city marketing they have a lot of hybrid options operations the same thing people lots of hybrids so lots of hybrid jobs some fully remote here as well every once in a while you'll see some where you have to be at the angie office sales wise they do have a lot of fully remote jobs if you're interested in sales they have a ton of inside sales reps available right now 
lots of engineering jobs. Just about every company I'm gonna show you is gonna have some engineering jobs. But if you want to be like in sales, for instance, you could look at one of these as an example and they'll tell you this is a 100% phone based in this case. And then if you scroll down, they'll tell you the pay here, uncapped commission plus base salary. And then you have sales reps who earn a certain amount based on their performance, of course. So the pay is gonna be a little different for sales jobs than when you look at just a regular salary based job. And then they also have a progression plan based on performance, including title promotion. So basically, now they tell you some stuff that's like in office type benefits. So if you're working remotely, that shouldn't really apply, but they do have a comprehensive training program. They have medical, dental, and vision, retirement plan with company match, 401k through Charles Schwab, Charles Schwab, I should say, company equity program, generous paid time off, including sick personal vacation, volunteer time, and nine paid holidays. They try not to make you work any more than 40 hours a week is another kind of just company policy here. Now, as far as what's like to work here, they have a 3.5 out of five star rating, 62% recommend working here to a friend. So pretty good ratings there. As far as benefit wise, they have a 3.6 out of five star rating. Interview wise, they have a 2.5 out of five difficulty rating, which is pretty easy actually. And then 57% positive compared to 27% negative, which is a very good rating, I would say, for the experience applying here. Next, we have a company called DBT Labs, which is at getdbt.com. And they are a company that was founded in 2016 to empower analysts to create and disseminate organizational knowledge. Now, if you're looking at their jobs here, they have a ton of different jobs available here. As you see, it's a very long list. You'll also notice that just about every one of these is remote, but they do have some in specific areas as well. They have pretty much all their engineering jobs are mostly remote based, especially in the United States. If you look at the executive section, they have another US remote job. They have a lot of customer support type stuff, um, professional services, solutions architect, and uh, some of those are in person, some of those are remote. You'll notice they do hire in the Philippines and, and Ireland as a few other options outside of just the United States. So it's not just in the US, but they don't seem to be worldwide either. They do have a few data and operations type jobs, some marketing positions available, just uh, different types of jobs scattered around here. You do have quite a few sales jobs open right now as well. So if you were to click on one of these, They'll tell you the salary. So like for this one is 170,000 to 200,000 a year. This is just a product marketing manager. Just as an example, you can also get equity stake options in some cases and benefit wise, they do give you a few bullet points here like unlimited vacation and excellent healthcare, paid parental leave, wellness stipend and home office stipend and more. So pretty good as far as what they tell you up front. Not a whole lot of details, but still, you know, if you look at, some other companies, they do offer you a little bit more upfront than others. As far as the reviews, 3.6 out of five stars, 66% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, they have a 4.8 out of five star rating. So that really tells you more about, you know, not, not only is it about what they tell you they're gonna give you, but how do they deliver is also very important. So you see they have a 4.8 out of five stars from their employees, which is very good. 2.8 out of 5 difficulty is fairly normal, and the split between positive and negative is almost 50-50, which is also very normal. Next, we have a company called DotDash, available and hiring a lot right now. It's actually at dot-meredith.com. Dot-meredith is actually America's largest digital and print publisher. So they have 40 plus iconic and fast-growing brands harnessing the best intent-driven content, the fastest sites and the fewest ads to nearly 200 million people every month. So they have a ton of traffic. They are basically the parent company of a lot of different content companies. So they have a lot of different content creation brands. Now they have these jobs kind of filtered into categories here. So you can go by category, you can go by location. Obviously you probably like to look at the work from home only ones. So if you were to filter to just work from home, you have you know, a few in commerce, you have a lot in editorial and content. So if you ever wanted to um, be like an editor or a writer, this is a great place to check for those types of jobs. You can show more as well and get the full list. So don't, don't just go by the first few that they show you, like this one right here. This one category has 26 different jobs, as you can see. So then you have, you know, you have food, you have freelance, 
you have information technology and network services, and then you also have project management. So obviously the vast majority of the jobs you usually find here are in the editorial and content section. And when you click on one of these, you kind of see like a short description of what you're going to do, what they're looking for. They don't give you a lot of real uh, details in terms of benefits or pay or anything like that though. As far as what it's like to work here, 3.6 out of five stars and 62% recommend working here to a friend, which is pretty standard. Benefit wise, 4.4 out of five stars at 96 ratings. That's pretty good. So you can kind of go through the comments here and see what they actually offer you because they don't really tell you that up front. Um, four months is a great amount of leave time for maternity and paternity leave. So that's good if you want to start a family. 401k plan matching is a great plus. Um, covered for many different things in health insurance. So it looks like they're just kind of decent overall. And they give you kind of the essentials that you would want. Healthcare, 401k matching for retirement, maternity and paternity leave. Three of the big essentials for benefits, of course. Uh, difficulty, 2.8 out of 5. Not bad, pretty standard. 45% positive compared to 28% negative. That's pretty good. I'd say it's above average. Next, we have yahooinc.com. This is a company hiring for a lot right now. And as you probably know, Yahoo is a company that covers a lot of different things. A lot of people think of Yahoo through Yahoo Search and Yahoo News and all of that stuff. So they are known for a lot of things. They are also a company that's actually private. Uh, I want to say they used to be public, but they are private. They're a one to five billion dollar a year company with 5,000 plus employees. And they have a lot of jobs available right now. So if you look at location, they do hire all over the world, as you can see. So if you're looking for something worldwide, you can check them out. They have lots of different brands that they cover as well. Again, Yahoo Inc. is just like the parent company of all of them. They kind of started as like a search engine and just branched off into a lot of things like like AOL, Yahoo Engineering, Finance Sports, Yahoo Mail, of course, being one of the bigger email providers in the world, next to like Google and maybe a couple others. Lots of different categories here, but you can see they just have a ton of different jobs available. You'll have to keep loading more because they just have such a long list. But if you want a job in you know, engineering or you're interested in sports or whatever i mean they have all sorts of different things but i'd say one of the most common ones they have available right now is engineering for sure as you can see a lot of the ones that i'm scrolling through here are engineering you also have like reporter at TechCrunch. that's kind of a different one and so that's pretty much the full list right there so you can kind of just look through here you have lots of engineering jobs available that's especially in demand some writing jobs some editing jobs you have a few just kind of sprinkled in here but for the most part lots of engineering and maybe some leadership positions as well. So if you were to go to one of these and just kind of see what they look like, they'll tell you, you know, all the essentials, responsibilities, who you are, qualifications. They do tell you pay here as well. So for instance, this one pays up to around 267,000 a year. They also say that they provide, you know, industry leading benefits, which obviously is their opinion, but that includes healthcare 401k, company holidays, vacation, sick time, parental leave, and employee assistance program. Eligibility requirements do apply though. So as far as reviews, four out of five stars, 73% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, as far as what benefits are rated at here by employees, 4.3 out of five stars, also very good. Interview wise, three out of five difficulty is standard. And then 57% positive compared to 20% negative is actually well above average. So most things here are well above average in terms of ratings. So last but not least, we have Stripe.com. They're hiring for a lot of work from home jobs right now as well. Stripe is a company that is a software platform for starting and running internet businesses. They're, they're competitors to companies like Braintree, Authorize.net, and PayPal, of course. Everybody knows PayPal. And as far as the jobs they have available right now, they do have all sorts of jobs all around the world. So you see like, you see Ireland, you see Mexico, you see Israel, New Zealand, the United States, Tokyo, Japan, Poland, Singapore, London, England. I mean, all sorts of different areas around the world. So obviously you want to look for the ones that say remote next to them though. A lot of these, they don't really say if they're remote in the location. So if you go to remote locations, and you click on all of those, you just go to this drop down. It's, it's just for remote only. So you can just check these boxes here. Obviously, you, based on the country you live in, you don't need to see all these. But for my just presenting to you, I do them all so you can see where they're hiring the most. But they have lots of account executive jobs, which is sales, uh, remote in the United States, especially lots of openings. 
you have marketing, you have administrative, security, platform, design, lots of different areas they're applying. It's not really just one area. They're hiring for just about everything. Obviously, lots of engineering jobs, especially for the platform and payment side of things. Um, you make sure you look at the location section as well, of course. But as far as the jobs and that they have available, kind of all, so, all sorts of jobs they have here. And then if you were to just click out one of these random jobs, they will tell you a little bit more about it. Responsibilities, who you are, qualifications, all that fun stuff. They do tell you the pay up front, so that's good. And then as far as the benefits go, they say right here in this last paragraph, benefits and additional compensation for this role may include equity, company bonus or sales commissions and bonuses, retirement plans, health benefits, and wellness stipends. So as far as what's like to work at Stripe, they'd be 3.6 out of five star rating, 58% recommend working here to a friend. I would say that's pretty standard. Benefit wise, they'd be 4.5 out of five star rating, which is well above average, I would say. They have interview wise a 3.1 out of five star rating and pretty split between positive and negative, but still 10% more positive, I'd say is a good thing for their interview process. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. If you thought this was a helpful video and you want more stuff like this in the future, please click the like button. It helps me know you know, when a video gets more likes that this is what you prefer. Also, don't forget to leave a comment if you want to ask me a question or suggest something for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one.